previously on GM Golf. Look at this. Can you beat this? You can't. You couldn't if you tried. Well, we're playing Spanish Bay today. I'm playing with some fire right now. This is maybe the most fun I've had so far. I don't, I don't know when. Wow. Oh my. All right, well, guys, we're actually, we're leaving Carmel Valley right now. If you guys watched the last two episodes, they were, in my opinion, some of my favorite. And I said this a lot throughout the video, but even with Pebble being up there, I think that was some of the most fun that I've had so far. And that's with one of the greatest golf courses of all time. So shout out to Carmel Valley, that was sick. Right now, we're in a slight predicament. Brad's girlfriend, Mike, my, my girlfriend, are back at the Airbnb right now. We were supposed to check it out at 11.30. I called the host, he said it was okay. They're just staying there while the cleaners are there and we're having to go back there right now we're kind of in a rush it's 12 11 uh, p.m we're going back there grabbing all of our stuff the situation is though uh we got a couple issues issue number one we have one car and we have a lot of luggage so to fit every single person and the luggage just one to get to the course but let alone we have to drive up to san francisco tonight is going to be impossible so it's going to be luggage in this car book an uber over to spyglass get ready for our next round from Spyglass, book an Uber after Spyglass and take this car up to San Francisco to our next Airbnb and our next location for the next three days. So there's a lot going on. There's, today's a busy day. Today's a very long day. I've been up since 6.30. We've all been up since 6.30. This is a grind, but this is what like, in my opinion, this is what golf trips are all about. You get a bunch of golf in, you enjoy it, and you cherish these moments at these beautiful courses. And then obviously, We'll have kind of like a week off before good good week so spyglass is going to be sick i'm pumped for spyglass i know when you heard we were playing spyglass you were pumped it's weird to think we're playing the olympic club tomorrow that is kind of crazy whoa gosh i can't wait for one week oh the oh. burger dog i might eat 12 of those i'm gonna purposely not eat all day and just eat burger dog all right listen up <laughs> here's the deal we we're packing up my car uh, the first rental car. And then Brad will explain what he's having to do right now prior to our round. Here, it's 12.45, we tee off at two. We're gonna go get Chipotle and food, and then head over to the course, probably be at the course around 1.45. We don't really need a warm up. Brad, what's going on with you guys over there? Waiting <laughs> for the Uber, which is arriving right now. Um, hopping in an Uber to the airport, we're gonna get a rental car for the tea time, drive the rental car to Spyglass, and that way we have a car to uh, to drive down to St. Fran. So me and Abby will drive down to St. Fran ourselves tonight. All right, ready, ready, team, break. <laughs> team, ready, break. I'm excited for today. I'm excited, for, well, I'm excited for the second 18 today. We already played 118. Obviously, as you know, we're playing Spyglass Hill. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're totally fine about filming out here. I really don't know. First of all, it might not be fully filmed, so we don't draw as many eyes. Again, we haven't had any issues in the past, but we just want to be safe. After getting to the course, we headed over the first tee, hit our tee shots, and immediately we're told that we can't film at Spyglass Hill. We thought for a little bit and decided we're just gonna head up to San Francisco early. We have just arrived in San Francisco three or four hours later after a bit of a drive. We're getting ourselves a nice little view of the Golden Gate Bridge, which this is my second time to the Golden Gate Bridge. I've never really gotten like done the whole view thing of the Golden Gate Bridge. So we can kind of see the skyline here, Golden Gate Bridge for the sunset. The city. Yeah, this is super cool because you get a nice view of the city and then we're gonna then we're gonna check into our Airbnb uh, right after this. But this is this is beautiful. Next day, we've arrived at the course, Olympic Club. Ooh, today's gonna be a big day. I'm excited. We're playing the, the ocean course today, which there's two courses. You got the ocean course, and then you have the lake course. The lake course is the US Open course. The ocean course is not the US Open course. Shout out to Joey Mucha for having us out today. He's the guy who had us out last time, and he already has us burger dogs ordered and ready to go, and I just cannot wait to slap that thing all the way down my throat. Gosh, I've been waiting for that this whole trip. I've been thinking about that since Pebble Beach. When in San Fran, you know? When in San Fran. We 
been talking about this since the plane, or I've been thinking about this since the plane to California. Brad and I have been most looking forward to the Olympic Club, specifically for the Olympic Club, but also because of the burger dogs. They're ready to go. I ordered two, I haven't eaten anything today just because of these right here. Mm. <laughs> and look at that. Nice. Gotta get everything. See, we got the pickle there, sauce up there, come on. Bite cam. Oh yeah, one out of 10, one out of 10. Hmm. Hmm. 9.8. 9.8, there 9 it is. 9.8, 9.8. I never give anything a perfect 10, that's what I'm gonna say. So 9.8 because nothing's a perfect 10, but this is pretty damn close. I don't have any qualms with that. I don't have anything I would change, but. I'm already about halfway done with this thing, so I already know what it tastes like, but I'll go ahead and get another bite. Hot dog bills bite cam, here we go. What's your rating, one out of 10? See, I'm gonna go 9.9. .9. Whoa! Damn, damn. I also don't want to give a perfect 10, just because I don't believe there is a perfect 10, but I'm going to go one one tenth higher than, than Garrett. The cheese is like melted just perfectly. I was going to make a hype edit of a <laughs> burger <laughs> dog. <laughs> Get that sound design insane, you got that. Here we go, this is fresh off the oven. This is gonna be too hot to eat or are we gonna be good? I'm good? Even better? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go 9.99. Okay, okay. Wow. The no onions, that, that bumped it up for me. It did, because I'm not an onion guy, but this right here is insane. I mean, it's just, it's different level. I hope you guys one day get to experience a burger dog at Olympic Club. Guys, a huge week is coming upon us. And our sponsor today, Underdog Fantasy, is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. Guys, playing their pick'em game is as simple as picking higher or lower on your favorite player's stats, such as finishing position, strokes, birdies or better, and more. You can make your entries in just golf, or you can mix and match across all your favorite sports, and you can win up to 100 times your money. Another really cool thing is Underdog is actually available in 30 plus states, including Texas, California, Canada, and even it's, even Alaska. And maybe you guys played up there, I don't really know. <laughs> That's terrible to say, I'm sorry, but not many people live in Alaska. <laughs> guys, here are my picks for this week, right over here, you see them? Boom, 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 boom. Um, I actually really enjoy this when sporting events come around uh, and it's something that I'm like focused on watching. For some reason, like when I put something on the line for myself, even if it's just like 10 bucks, I feel like more invested in it. I'm actually really excited even more to watch this year than I was last year. I actually want to say this. I've placed uh, a lot of my higher lowers and my pick em entries. I just want to say, whatever my picks are over here, don't do it because I've never won. And if you're wondering what my picks are for the Players' Championship, they're right there. Brock Purdy going higher than three rushing attempts. Guys, here are my personal picks for this week's March Madness game right over here on the right. Do you see them? Seriously, I've. I've never won. Do the opposite, probably. <laughs> you literally pick the opposite pick. If you're a new customer over there, you can actually pair your picks with Scotty Scheffler to literally just have one stroke. I mean, all he has to do is hit one stroke and you can win. Underdog will be running like a lot of different promos throughout this week, like bonus cash drops, specials, and giveaways. Uh, so that's something like pretty cool that's going on over there right now. One way to kind of keep up with that is if you just follow Underdog Picks on Twitter, they kind of give you those updates and whatnot, and you can be in the loop. Also, if you guys just want to sign up, there's a link in the description. Uh, you can also just like, there's like a QR code and whatnot, you can scan that and uh, use code GMGOLF in all caps. You will, uh, it's actually pretty cool. Underdog will actually double your first deposit up to $100. And uh, yeah, again, that's code GMGOLF, all caps, link in the description. Let's get back to the video. I'm getting that excitement for the first tee, you know what I'm saying? What's sad is, I got this burger dog, um, little uh, ball marker. It's sick, but I know for a fact I will lose it before I finish this round. It will fall in my pocket onto the cart path. And it was probably it. 25 bucks. It was 13 bucks. Fair enough. Hole one, par five, dog left. We warmed up, it's windy, it's cold. The scores are currently at me, three under par, and you're what? Even par. Overall, Brad's even, overall. I'm three under with the strokes. Olympic club, first tee shot. Wind off the left, dude. The wind is going to affect our balls like crazy today.
Honestly, from what you guys remember the last time we played Olympic Club, my start was not very good, so I will take that. Trying to go to the right side of the fairway. If it carries, that's gonna be so damn good. Did it carry? Did that carry? It might have, yeah. I feel like it's either screwed in that bunker or it's absolutely perfect. So we'll see when we get up there. Yes, man. This place is sick. Yes. Like this is uh, uh, this is already like my top five courses ever. Yes. And the fact that they're so chill about this and they want it God. makes it just makes me love it even more. Man, that starter he said let, he walked up to Ryder and said, "Let me know when you fly that drone, man. I want to see it." Fly that drone. <laughs> I want to see it. Yeah. Right. See, that's the difference between here and I'm not gonna. Say, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get pissed. It off. rhymes with dry grass. That's the difference between here and some dry grass. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Green skippy. Sure. Par five. I'm assuming. Par five. Yeah. Have you played this course? Uh. -uh. I've only played lakes. I only played have lakes. The advantage. I. We don't have a scorecard. We need a scorecard desperately. Yeah. Yeah. I should not have drank any of that Red Bull. It got me so what dreary. What the hell? No, brother. Spider web. Look at from. You can look at better from this side. For the what? Spires. Are you erectile phobia? Absolutely. Whatever. Yeah, erectile oh! phobia. Into the wind, 270. Second shot, par five. I probably can't get it there, but we're going to try. Carry, carry. Oh, Michael, you know what? That carries the rough. It's on the green, guaranteed. And guess whose fault that is? Me. Yours. What is it called when you're scared of snakes? Because obviously you have the erectile phobia for spiders. There's one for snakes, right? Erectile dysfunction? Nope. No, er er reptile dysfunction. That's gotta be what it yeah. is. I got 220. I covered the bunker. Didn't quite get to the fairway, but I'm here in the rough. Back into the breeze. I'm gonna go a little stinger four iron. If it lands a little short of the green, should bounce up. Keep coming. Keep Stop, win. I think it's on, right? Yeah, you're putting. You're putting. putting. Putt for eagle. First hole. Let's go, Great baby. Great start. Great start for Brad here at the lake course. Hey, well done. That was so good. Was <laughs> Thank really you. Good. Joey the cat, man. He's inspirational. Joey the cat. I love Joey. Joey's a G. Shout out Joey for having us out today. Shout out to Olympic Club for being so chill today. And that's the crazy part is this is a very exclusive, mm -hmm. like crazy rules, very, very private course. And they're chill about us filming. So shout out to the Olympic Club. You guys have our... Our hearts. You guys have our hearts. You guys have our loyalty. When I come to San Francisco, I'm playing the Olympic Club every time. Damn Skippy. Yes. Come on, baby. Yes. I just got the drone up. They don't even care. Don't have to worry. Up the hill. 60 degree in hand. Would love to make a birdie. Absolutely love to make a birdie here. Run! Unfortunately, a little bit short, but that's all right. We're gonna make a putt. I couldn't find my divot. I guess it landed short. We got about 30, 35 feet up the hill. Breaking left. Did not hit any practice putts on the putting green, so I just hit a few. Hopefully, I have the speed dialed in, but we'll see. Hopefully, I can just at least two putt this for birdie. A little slower up the hill than I thought it'd be. All right, gonna, Michael. We're gonna be shoving that shit in my line. I'm going this way, but it's bouncing backwards. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm only doing this on a short putt here, obviously, but this is the windiest it's been in probably six months is what they're saying. So that's why you see some of the stuff on the greens today. Slow, slow, did not hit it fast enough. I couldn't commit to that one, Michael. That's on me. That's on you. That's on you. Five feet here for my birdie. I'm breaking a little bit left. As long as the wind doesn't want to hold it out, Thanks. Thank you. Things snapped a little bit. Um, one under through one. Good start. Good drive. Good four iron. I'm gonna try and play a little low track star here, Mikey. Landing on the front edge, it's gonna roll. The I just saw his ball land on the green. Don't think it's gonna roll. Sure. Did that go long? What'd you hit, five? Five iron. And Garrett just made it. Bada Set. bing, bada boom. Set. You rolled it. That was so pure. Guess that uh, the wind is more just straight out of the left. Thought it was into off the left. I hit a five iron and it sailed long. Gets up and down, avoids bogey. Sure. 
Sure. All right. These greens are a nice not, speed. They're not too fast, but they're not too slow. Very, very Drano speed. Yeah, like you can make a lot of putts today. Left to right up the hill, then it should go back right. Oh, and that is in the heart, brother. I'm giving him this rider. Don't need to see that. There you go. Yep. Thank you. End over end. Thank you. All right, I'll take that par save. Garrett's even, I'm one under. They're two. All right, Michael, we're gonna try something a little bit crazy here. Now, we're gonna try something a little bit crazy here. I'm gonna go over the street on the right with a draw. Like, making golf fun is always better. When there's trees, I think golf is more fun. I mean, if we hit this correctly, this ball's gonna go a People are gonna be like, mile. Garrett, was Garrett on crack this video? It's like, no, I just had caffeine for the first time in forever. Just no draw, how? You dirty little dog. Gosh, that was so pure, wasn't it? It was. That was, that was pure. Right on my line, Garrett, Michael. Just safe. no draw. What's that? You're good. Okay. I'm basically trying to do the same thing Garrett just did. High draw. Perfect. Now that is what I wanted to do. That's hammered. Goodness gracious, get in the hole. It's fine. Brother, I'm not eating that. No, it's sour. It's sour grass. No, that's great. I'm so oh, yeah. give let me know how it tastes. It tastes sour. <laughs> try one. No, no, no. That, Come on, try one. Tell that me. looks great. No, it's actually good. Ryder, you'd be 6'7 if you didn't good. eat that as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's sour grass. How is it? Wait, it's actually kind of good. <laughs> right? It's like it's sour. Nice. It's actually kind of good. It's like a little sour. Come on, eat one for the video. No, I'm good. I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I'm all right. I love it here. It makes me so happy. Something about it just, it tickles my taint just in the right way. Mm. It makes my ball sack tingle. Mm. Right what there. Is that me? It's gotta be. Damn, I hit that so good though. You have to try a sour graph, dude. <laughs> it could, it's up there with burger dogs. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. We got 120. We got a small little window. Ball's actually fine over here. My angle at the pin, not so great. There's a small little window in this tree. Let's see if we can hit it. 52 degree in hand. That almost got stuck. One foot away, man. Honestly, the smart play is just to take it low and under that tree, but I wanted to do it, because why not? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you got really lucky that it did not get stuck. It almost got stuck in the tree? It like, I saw it like rattling around, almost stopped, and then it fell down, went through another little canopy, held it up for a second, and then fell down. That's kind of unlucky. I feel like that would have been so funny for content. Like the cypress trees, they like to eat balls. This pin's kind of, this, where's the pin? Very well right. done. Thank you. Need to get the seven down for par. I feel confident with it. Sit. Shut. What? It's like 15 feet long. It was a little runner out of that rough, Michael. That's on you. I love that. That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. I've, I've like seen the balls like get stuck in trees before. I've never seen it actually like almost happen. Like I saw it where it could have happened twice. Well, left or right here, Michael, down the hill. This would be a great putt to have fall right now. White. Poana greens are tough to putt on. They can be really tricky, especially late in the day. Brad up here to get it to two under par through three. Kind of hard to see this break just because it's in the shadow here, but it should just be moving right down the hill. It's gonna be pretty quick, so let's see if I can make another one. All right. Did not see. Did you see that, Ryder? I don't really know what happened there. You called it? Yeah, I just held it up the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what I'll say. Huh. If I would, if I was your caddy, you would have made that putt. Yeah, I looked at the camera, and like while you're yeah. lining up, I just held I, my hand I out felt, the whole I felt time. the left early, but I thought the hole was going right. Well, with the stroke, I have a one-shot lead. 201 under. Today, I'm two down. Obviously, I'm one over. He's one under. So, tough start there. Bad bogey for me. You know, par for Brad. Unfortunate that I just hit it up into that tree. Ooh, kind of running. My straw just broke. Up the hill, driver in hand, par five. Second one of the day. Just a beautiful hole here. You got trees right, trees left. What did you say happened last time? Almost made a double. 
Eagle. Mm. Albatross. Did you make Eagle? No, I want to say I might have even made par. All right, I got driver down that right side. Wind is off to the left still, so I can't really feel it right here, but kind of got to keep that in mind. Come on, wind. Should be fine. Should be short of the bunker, I would guess. No? I don't know how far that bunker is. I hit, I mean, I was hoping that wind would take it a little bit more. Isn't the Olympic Club actually a short course? Can't be too course. bad. I don't know about this course, but the lake course isn't like crazy long. Yeah. Oh, you cannot get to that bunker. Yeah, I didn't think so, but I just never saw it land. I'm literally 70 yards short. Okay. Did you ever play video games, like ever growing up? Yeah. What'd you just play? more Madden. Well, I'm gonna start off the best video game of all time after we get past these mowers. Bruh. NCAA football. Played that all Actually, time. Actually, great game. Great game. Madden. I was. I mean, I'm a big sports game guy. But also, I played Call of Duty when I was growing up. Don't play Call of Duty anymore. I always sucked at it. That we talked sense. about zombies last night. King of Toten. I was too Oof. scared to play it by myself. I had to have someone I was playing with. I mean, I, I played video games a bunch as a kid. I played a bunch in college, too, like Fortnite. We were, I think Fortnite's all fun. of us got into Fortnite. Like the OG first... Fortnite's different, huh? It hits diffy. All right, going three wood, into the wind, 260. This should be the right club. Just trying to play this one straight here, Michael. Wind's taking it too much. Gosh, that was such a sick shot, though. A little low ball. Ooh. 242 up to 249. I'm going to go three wood. What's up there, Garrett? Nothing, really? Some bunkers. Nothing yeah. much. What did you hit? Wind. Three wood? Yeah, nice. a little choke down. Might need to simmer. Who knows? Golly. I thought that wind was going to take it. Never did. We'll see what's up there. Short right. Honestly, this is the miss you're going to miss. Running away from me would be very nice to get this up and down for birdie. What did I say? Should land soft and then roll. We're getting the feel back. I can actually, I'm starting to feel it coming in my hands. I ended up actually in a decent spot over here. I thought it was going to be a little longer. Kind of a tough chip, plenty of green to work with. It's just up and over the slope. Had to judge that correctly. So let's see if I can get up and down for another birdie, get two under, take advantage of this par five. Ah, just landed too far. It wasn't easy. I needed to land a little shorter. I judged it pretty well with this, having like this amount of spin out of there. Just landed about five feet too far. I don't know, 15, 16 feet here for my birdie up the hill. I saw it going by. So I should have an idea of what it's doing. Let's see if I can make this. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 200 through four. We'll take that. We'll take that. I think this wiggle's right, Michael, but I'm not sure. Ah. Roll end over end. That's an unfortunate missed opportunity. Well, it's officially tied up. Brad's tied it up through three and a quarter rounds of golf. It's kind of crazy to be back here, guys. It, obviously, you know, but like, did the road trip with Grant down here. We made a stop here at Olympic Club. Our first round at Olympic Club was also at uh, here at the Ocean Course, and these views are just sick. So it's kind of some nostalgia to be back here playing the same course that I've already played before. And it's your first time playing this course. First time. Yeah, I played, played lakes multiple times, but never played Ocean Course. And this part three also looks unbelievable. This is so fun, dude. This is the kind of golf I love. Straight into the wind, 166 down to 133, playing probably like 190. Yeah, let's, let's just say that again, 166. Down to 133, into a 30 mile an hour wind. I, I mean, this is like probably <laughs> one of the toughest shots to judge the distance on. No clue where to go. I've got, I've got seven iron, and I am just going to chip this thing. Almost like feel like I'm trying to hit it downward. No idea what to say to it. Wow. I will take that. Wow. Pin high. Wow. I was, I was just chipping a seven and hoping that was somewhat correct. Should I get crazy with it? It was. Get crazy with it. No, nah, I'm going to do the same thing. I was thinking I wanted to hit like a big old hook over here, but Just no. real quick. Imagine hitting driver and aiming like I over thought, there. I thought about just... it. Three wood. 
<laughs> That'd be so much fun. Trying the same thing as Brad here. Seven iron in hand. Needs to go. Stay there and Needs go. Needs to go. Needs to go! Jeez. Fine. I mean. That's crazy. Mine was just too spinny. It just got caught in the wind and man, that's such a hard shot today. That might have been maybe the most I've ever guessed on a shot. Like Literally. I could have chipped that seven iron and I feel like it could have either gone 30 yards short or 30 yards long as a pin. There was zero, there was zero control. You just had to hit the best shot possible. To be honest, I just kind of saw it and I just felt like it was just, it was just like, I feel like seven iron's the right number, or right club. Sure. Well, my ball was plugged here. Don't hate it. I'm actually putting this. Putted one from off the green earlier. It's rolling true through the fringe, so. Just trying to play a little left to righter here. Oh God. Yeah. I thought I needed to give that a little bit more pace than I actually did. Very happy with that shot. I was sitting to here 30 feet down the hill. It's gonna be pretty quick. It's also downwind. Breaking a little left early, but then the last half's gonna be all moving right once it loses speed, so. Run. Stretch. That wind, honestly, that wind kinda died down. Take a par on that hole. Good par. Great par on a hole like this, to be honest. I think I see what this does. The putting display this trip for me has been not ideal. I think my problem is early on, I haven't seen many putts fall. So for me, it's just making putts going in feel a lot less realistic. There's a hole above us, a fairway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, no, actually, yes, yeah, there is. There's one under that hole. Yeah, there is. That's a really fun hole. It's our next hole. It's great. Okay, I just want to be clear. We were saying this course right now today, ocean is beautiful condition, but mm -hmm. lakes is actually a different level. Look, that, zoom in on that green. That green literally looks fake. It looks artificial. Yes. Even like the mow lines and everything. My start so far to my round has been rough. It has come down to a lot of missed putts inside of 10 feet. If we can get that one part of the game dialed in, life is good. Good ball. Just get a nice bounce, right? Sure. Yeah. Driver in hand for me. Trying to hide draw as well. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks. Money. All right, that's perfect. What? You want to pick one? See if you can get one. That's kind of a nice snag. No, no, it felt, yeah, show the camera. What is that? No, a little, it's a little flower. Can I smell? It doesn't really smell like much. I need a little Ooh. bit, but it's got a little smell too. That was kind of a nice little, just pa. That was good. Pa. I think I might have drove you there. I don't think you did. Yeah, oh, you, yeah, actually, I think, I think you did. I got you, no. Pretty, that was my oh, fairway my. finder though, so I probably, good thing I didn't get after that one, because yeah, it would have been no, kind of embarrassing. Sure, yeah, for sure, for that sure. That was my fairway finder. For sure. So. All right, pin's just behind a ridge here, 50 some yards. I got a. 60 green hand, trying to drive one in low, skip it, stop it, bop, and bop it. it. Jinx, buy me Coke Zero. Jinx. Bro. Is this pin on a little false front? Yeah, there's a false front, and I was also scared of the chunk. Garrett was up there in front of you? Yeah, I mean, you gotta let him have his moment every once in a while. No, I let him know it's just my fairway finder swing, though. Just your fairway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta help his ego out a little bit, you know, sometimes. 58 yards, I'm trying to decide if I wanna go higher with it or a little skipper. Only problem is if I hit a skipper, I don't want it to just stick in the ground. I'm gonna go a little higher. <laughs> okay, that's, <laughs> that's enough of that. Ah, oh, that's gotta sit. It's gotta sit, I think. All right, should have some spin on it though. Might be a little pass, but that's kind of a tough shot. No more lining up putts for me today. I'm just feeling it because I just haven't been able to see the lines. So instead of seeing them, I got to feel them. All right, another lousy two putt par there, Michael. Kind of similar line as Garrett's, a little shorter. Yeah, like 10 feet down the hill. Let's see if I make this get the three under. Nope. 
just right off the bat. A little wind action, little push, little, I don't know. That was not a good putt. Okay, so you guys might see on your left side of your screen, uh, your right side of your screen, I don't know, one of the sides of your screen, that there's some dirt back there. They're actually doing renovation on this hole because the sinkhole opened up. They're playing as a par three. Typically, this is a par four. They're playing as a par three. Still par 70, still a legit style course. I got P wedge. I'm gonna hit a little, little knock down right at it. Wind. Whoa. That just went right through the wind. Try and have some fun with this one, boys. Draw 52 here. Land on. All right there. Uh, All right. I was kind of scared after seeing Brad's of going long. Should have just swung full at that instead of taking some off. Two birdie looks. Not a great look for Brad. Actually, potential three putt. No, I ain't three putt. Potential that. three putt in play. No, I ain't three putt. I haven't that. seen. I haven't seen. I haven't seen. Like I said, I can't really be mad about that shot I hit in here. I hit it exactly how I wanted to. That wind just did not touch it. I might have died down a little bit, and I might have just. Pierced it a little too much into the wind. This putt's gonna be fast as a duck. What? Yeah, let's hit it close. Turn left, turn left. No way, that's short. Go! Would love to see this one fall. Just kind of feeling the putt again. <laughs> Michael cringing behind the camera. That's funny. Dang, man, dang. I hope you know that I am getting another burger dog. Oh, I hope you know that I am getting another burger dog as well. I just want to let you know. I'm trying to kind of draw it up onto the trees on the left. Like there's a bunker on the left that I don't think I can get there. It's 300 to the bunker. So I'm kind of giving myself that as my line here. That is nice there. I have nightmares in this hole, I can't lie. I don't know if you guys remember last time, this was a very long hole. Hit one OB, hooked one left in the trees. I think I made a triple, so. Didn't go right. Yeah, that's fine, Good ball. Ooh, it just ran. I mean, it's just that, rough. Like, you'll be I've, fine over there. I've got a feeling that's gonna be up against that tree. 155, I think I have a little bit of a nine or P wedge. Oh, sit, 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 sit. Go, do something. I don't know. I thought that was in the bunker, but we'll take it. About 140, into the wind, like I said, off the right, but it's on the down slope out of the rough, so it shouldn't have a whole lot of spin off the down slope. Probably makes a 135 club. It's probably a pretty full pitching wedge. I freaking love all you guys. I never take your guys' viewership for granted, ever. Thank you guys for watching and continuously supporting and supporting this series. Like, obviously, if you guys aren't watching the videos, like, I would not be able to pay for any of this trip or do what, do what we do. And... Get back there. I don't know, like, I've Go always in. been Go in, in the realization that Go in. you... Come on, what? Wow, how is that not in? How? That looks like it's on the edge. On the edge. I thought I did it again. That would've been a, the longest hole out on GM for me. I thought once that started spinning, that was in the hole. Now you were talking back here and I think I interrupted your thing with no, my I'm shot. No, I'm done, You're I'm done. done. Okay. Golly. Oh, it's not even close. Oh, never mind. All that. It's not even close. All, all that I was doing, screw nah, that. It's, it's, it's not even close. Foot and a half. I think a little left to right up the hill, nothing crazy. If I can see a putt like kind of scare the hole, even if it doesn't go in from this far, that'd be sick. I like the speed. Oh, where did that, I mean, these greens are tricky. I never saw that going back left at the end. I'll take it, I'll take a two putt. Nope, it never wow. moved left early. I thought it was gonna move left right off my feet. Good par though, good par. Are you getting another burger dog at the turn or what? Yeah, Brad and I were talking about it. It's like, I'm definitely going to get a third burger dog. I won't eat much tonight, but I sure will have Three burger dogs today. It was good. You know how I said I'm like, 
work on my eyes, just keeping them down as I put. It's nice. Cause like there, I did not know the read, but I felt like I made a really committed stroke. You did. You stroked it nice. I and missed smooth. missed the putt. I'm glad I committed to it. You know, it's number nine, 402 yards. Dog leg left. There's this big cypress just right in the way. The wind is off the left, and I'm just going high cut around it. So I'm starting this like at the tee box at the last no hole. No way. This is gonna be cool if it worked. Perfect. Jeez. Should I try it too? Yeah. Can't see where'd that end up. He said, can I try it too? Like, <laughs> do you know, like ask you for permission? Can I try it too? <laughs> can I try it too? <laughs> Please? All right, we're gonna try that it too. That didn't drift too far right, did it? Did you tell? No, I think you were just okay. Missed that tree. Got yeah. So oh, nice. Oh, that's so cool. I love so, wait, golf. Did you not see that shot before? 100 yards. I actually think I'm going to make this golf shot. Got a feeling. Actually, actually? Actually. This is the part where I edit that out when he doesn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> I make sure, and if he leaves and I got to hit up right and be like, hey, edit that out. Yeah, I can't sense. be looking like a clown, you know? No, leave it in regardless. Wind should push it right. Did you? Yeah. No. Should Where's land the past the hole or short and spin off the green. Holy, f what the f I didn't have Miss Green on my bingo card there. That spun, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. That was a good shot. What else would a GM Golf bingo card consist of? Um, a sexual innuendo would be on there. <laughs> nice. A chunk, the occasional chunk Next would be on video, there. we should make a bingo card. <laughs> I love that idea. <laughs> well, that drive was pretty sick. I'm glad it didn't get in this tall grass. It's over here in the rough, 74 yards. Got a nice little look at the green. Try to land it just a little short and run it up. <sighs> land, hit that shot, but land it a yard short of the green, not 20. Good shots for us. That's tough. Land it short of the green by a yard, not 12. <sighs> I'm tired now. I mean, y'all heard me say I was trying to go low ball, but I was trying to land it like up here and bounce it up. And I landed it back here, about 10 yards short of where I wanted. It is what it is. I haven't hit too many bad shots yet today, so I'll take you out with cheese. Thank you. I'll just put that behind us. Uh, just a little up and down here. Oh. Thought I did it for a second. For a split second, I thought I did it. Haven't chipped in in a while. Couple pars to finish. That was unfortunate with, with how good of a position I was in. I feel like I cruised on that front nine. Two over with how I struck it was about the worst I could have shot. So that's good news for the back nine. Hopefully we can go low on the back nine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode, that first episode here at Olympic Club. We'll see you guys in the back nine. Peace. Show me your soul. Maybe I'll show you mine. Show me your soul. Honey, it's way past time.